Greetings everyone, I had a lot of questions about which Paladin shield is good, which one is great, which one is awesome, which one is trash and so on, so I will explain everything that you need to know about the shields and which one to use if you are Hamadin, Foe, Smiter and so on. So the first thing that you need to know is you have three bases of your shields. The first one is normal, after you have exceptional and the last one is light. You need to understand that in 99% of the case you will only keep an elite base for your paladin shield, meaning that other bases will not be used and you will be able to trash them. There are a few reasons why you need an elite base, the first one is the smite damage. It's mandatory for a smiter to have this elite base otherwise you will lose too much damage. The second one is the armor given by the shield, on an elite base you will have a better armor value. And the third one is the chance to block, which is better on a light base, except the Vorted Shield, but it's not that much important. If you want to spot the right shield, be careful, because if you look at the damage, it is enhanced by your damage multiplicator. Meaning that if you have great damage on your palace shield, you could think that it's an elite version, but it's not mandatory. My advice is to always check at the name. You can also check at the strength and dexterity to wear the shield, but the name is much more useful. So that's why I move to my second part of the video. There are five names that you need to have in mind. The first one is the Sacred Third. It's the best shield for Caster Paladin, so Amardin. Fist of Heaven and so on, or Adin, you can also have this one. It's very important to have a Sacred Targe because you have the max chance to block and a very low strength required. You could also think about the Sacred Rondage, which is not too bad, needs a bit more of strength, but you lose also 2% of chance to block. On these two types of shield, you need to look for either a 40 all resistance with 4 socks in order to make spirit, or a 3 socks with 43 at all resistance in order to make dream or dragon. You need at least 43 at all resistance for dragon and dream because they are expensive rune wards, meaning that you need to have the best base possible. For the Curast and Zakarum, it's easy. They are not good pala shield, so I would advise to not keep them. You can use them, for example, at the beginning of a ladder, but after you need to swap to a better base. The last one is the Vortex Shield and it's mandatory for an Exile base. Exile will make the shield indestructible and give you the Defiance buff. Meaning you will have a lot of armor buff on this shield. That's why you need a Vortex Shield because it's the best base armor shield. So make sure to have a Vortex an SRL one with 4 sockets in order to make Exile with at least 43 at all resistance. Be careful if you have for example a good base Vortex Isseral with 45 at all resistance, they can worth a lot of high runes. So if it's not still clear enough, this is what I advise for new players to look for. You have 4 types of chills, the first one is the Sacred Terge with 40 at all resistance and 4 socks. The second one is the Sacred Terge with 43 at all resistance and 3 socks. And the third one, the Vortex is serial with 4 socks and 43 at all resistance. Don't forget that you can also use the quest at the Act 5 in order to have these 4 socks on this base Pala Shield. The last one that I didn't talk about during the video is if you have magical Sacred Targe with 4 socks and for example life or chance to block, it's very powerful for Fist of Heaven Paladins. As you see on the video, I didn't mention shields with enchant damage because in 99% of the case, it's not worth to trade your resistance. So for example, 45 at all resistance for only a very small buff of damage. That's why you don't need to keep this kind of shields. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to follow the channel if this is not the case. And if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. I will gladly answer them.